Uganda Children of War Rehabilitation Program was established in 1995 to work on the reintegration of children who had been abducted by the Lord's Resistance Army rebels during their 20-year-long war against the government of Uganda. The center has worked with 14,000 children since the onset of this war. It offers psychological support, medical assistance, and spiritual nurture to former child soldiers. The Children of War Center also facilitates the reunification of formerly abducted children with their families. Uh, the center was initiated in 1995 uh, when uh, the rebels uh, changed the approach of using sold, uh, children because they knew that it was easier to, to kind of derail the children and brainwash them and uh, also that they would not easily track back once they are removed from their own homes, it would be difficult for them to track back if they are taken to a different uh, location for some period of time. Yeah, so, and also because they were energetic and, 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 and that, you know, they would give a, a force to, to, the, to, to the fighting group that was there. And the army would uh, take them and parade them on the open marketplace. And because uh, the same uh, children were fighting, they would uh, shoot cars, they would lay ambushes, they would, you know, burn houses. People feared to associate with the, the rebel activity at that time. And of course, also the issue of arresting collaborators and all that. So even when they were paraded, and the people, the communities would be asked, if you know any of this child, can you come and pick? People feared to go forth and pick them. Uh, one of the key activities that we do is uh, uh, rehabilitation and reintegration of formerly abducted persons. Our program also targets other persons affected by this war. It includes children, uh, dropouts, and other persons in the community that this war has affected in various ways. So the Re rehabilitation center has a number of activities. Of course, the basic uh, care, uh, the food, the shelter, accommodation, at the center, we also do what we call family tracing because this is just a bridge in the children's life. So while they are here, we immediately begin to look for their families. Uh, for the case of this boy that we are even preparing to send home now, he comes from Soroti, and, and, and Soroti is a, a district which is far off from, from Gulu, where the reception center is. But it is our role and our mandate that we trace for the families. Geoffrey has been good. Uh, we didn't have a challenge with the language barrier because, you know, the people of Soroti, they are artists and they speak a completely different language from their cholis. But because uh, uh, when he was in captivity, he had to, to lose all the artists and uh, he now speaks a choli more strongly. And even when we took him for the family visits, he needed a translator to, to talk to his own people. And even now, as he's going home, I was, I was sharing with him and I asked him, I said, uh, what are you going to do? And he says, Madam, I want to go back to school. And I said, which class? He says, P3, I was abducted when I was in primary three.
Tonyo uto kira Kristo. All the demonic spirit we have been possessing him in the name of Jesus. Yeah, so it's break it in the name of Jesus. Kwa 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 and God, you have brought him back to our hands as our dear son. May your all spirit be with him, O oh Lord. And God, join us together with him, O oh my King of Glory. Father, at this short time, I call upon your name to lead every program in Jesus' name. When they are living world vision, when we have assessed them and found out they are ready, we organize for them a, pack, some, a package which will include their uh, household items, beddings, some food items, clothings, and then we give them some, some startup capital of 100,000. <laughs> The Commission's mandate includes, among others, demobilization, resettlement, reintegration, and decommissioning of arms. Those captured, or those who returned and settled, and, and those combatants who returned and settled in the communities, the Amnesty Commission mandate is to register them and document them and then grant them amnesty by giving them a certificate of amnesty. A certificate of amnesty is a, a certificate that symbolizes forgiveness, is a material symbol of forgiveness, which the Amnesty Commission issues on behalf of the people that symbolizes forgiveness. And it is only granted once to these former combatants or abductees. The message which the communities receive these children should hear, should hear that uh, these children really they did not choose to go to the rebellion. Most of them were forced into rebellion, abducted. And these lucky ones who come back, we ask the communities to accept them. Very important they are accepted and reconciled with their relatives, with the community, surrounding the communities. Because this could happen to any of them. And if they are not accepted, this can trigger another conflict in some form.